Born on the tiny island of Madeira, Portugal, a young boy named Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aveiro had dreams bigger than his humble beginnings. In the quiet neighborhood of Santo Antonio, nestled amidst the sprawling cityscape, Ronaldo was born on the 5th of February, 1985. His parents, Maria Dolores and Jose Dinis, named him Cristiano Ronaldo, after the former U.S. President Ronald Reagan, a man they admired for his tenacity and grit. Life was not a bed of roses for the young Ronaldo, his family was not affluent, and they lived in a modest home struggling to make ends meet. Despite the hardships, Ronaldo's parents instilled in him the values of perseverance and hard work. His father, a humble equipment manager at a local football club, was his first introduction to the world of football. Under the watchful eyes of his father, Ronaldo would spend countless hours on the club's patchy, worn-out pitch, honing his skills with a makeshift football. He was not the strongest or the fastest amongst the local kids, but what set him apart was his unwavering determination and a burning desire to excel. Ronaldo's love for the sport grew with each passing day. The football pitch became his sanctuary, the place where he could escape the realities of his humble beginnings and dream about a future filled with possibilities. He was a natural talent, and his exceptional skills did not go unnoticed. By the time he was 10, he was already making waves in the local football scene, and his performances were turning heads. His journey was not without hurdles. He faced many challenges and setbacks, but he never let them deter him. Instead, he used them as stepping stones to reach greater heights, always striving to improve and become the best version of himself. Little did young Ronaldo know his passion for the sport would soon catapult him into a world of fame and glory. From the narrow streets of Madeira, Ronaldo found his way to the prestigious Sporting Lisbon's Youth Academy. It was here, amid the clamor of cleats and the hum of competition, that Ronaldo's star began to shine. As a teenager, he was already setting himself apart, demonstrating a dedication to his craft that was beyond his years. His raw talent was undeniable, but it was his unwavering discipline and relentless drive that set him on a path to greatness. Ronaldo's journey through the academy was nothing short of meteoric. His skills improved exponentially, his game evolving with each passing day. The academy wasn't just a training ground for him, it was a proving ground. Ronaldo wasn't just playing the game, he was mastering it, and his progress didn't go unnoticed. At just 16 he made his debut for Sporting Lisbon's first team a remarkable achievement that marked the beginning of an illustrious career. But it wasn't just his skill on the ball that caught the eyes of the footballing world. Ronaldo had a flair for the dramatic, a knack for the spectacular. His performances were a spectacle, a display of raw talent and hard work coming together in a symphony of footballing brilliance. And it was this brilliance that caught the attention of one of the world's most prestigious football clubs, Manchester United. In 2003, Ronaldo signed with Manchester United, marking his first brush with fame on the international stage. The move was a significant milestone in Ronaldo's career, a testament to his talent and potential, but it was also just the beginning. The young Portuguese player was stepping onto a global stage ready to make his mark and carve his name into the annals of football history. Ronaldo's journey had just begun, and the world was about to witness the rise of a footballing titan. Little did they know the skinny kid from Madeira was on his way to becoming one of the greatest players the game has ever seen. His rise to stardom was just getting started and the world was about to watch in awe. At Manchester United Ronaldo transformed from a promising youngster to a world-class player. These words encapsulate the journey of Cristiano Ronaldo in England, a voyage that began in the summer of 2003 when he signed for the Red Devils. Under the astute guidance of Sir Alex Ferguson, a legendary figure in the realm of football, Ronaldo blossomed. The coach saw potential in this young lad from Madeira and knew he could shape him into a force to be reckoned with, and so the process of transformation began. The raw talent of Ronaldo was polished, his skills honed, and his instincts sharpened. Sir Alex Ferguson played an instrumental role in Ronaldo's development, nurturing his talent and molding him into a player with an exceptional skill set. Manchester United was not just a football club for Ronaldo, it was a proving ground, a place where he could showcase his talent and make the world take notice. And he did just that. From his debut season, Ronaldo became a key player for United, his performances on the pitch speaking louder than words. His speed, agility, and impeccable technique combined with his knack for scoring goals made him a nightmare for defenders. The pinnacle of Ronaldo's time in England was undeniably the 2008 UEFA Champions League victory a tournament that saw Ronaldo at his best. 
scoring crucial goals and leading Manchester United to glory. The same year he was awarded his first Ballon d'Or, a testament to his incredible performances and his growing stature in the world of football. His time in England was marked by numerous achievements, including three consecutive Premier League titles, AFA Cup, and two League Cups, each accolade adding another feather to his cap, each victory taking him a step closer to becoming one of the greatest footballers of all time. Ronaldo had conquered England, but he had bigger dreams, dreams dressed in white. His next destination? The Santiago Bernabeu, home of Real Madrid, a club with a rich history and a hunger for success, just like Ronaldo himself. In 2009 Ronaldo made a record-breaking move to Real Madrid, a dream come true. The stage was set, the lights were bright, and the Santiago Bernabeu awaited its new prince. Little did they know, they were welcoming a king. Ronaldo's time at Madrid was nothing short of a fairy tale. He was a phenomenon, a force of nature, an unstoppable freight train that was relentless in its pursuit of glory. His love for the game, his passion for the club, and his unwavering determination to succeed were evident in every goal he scored, every game he played, and every title he won. His accomplishments at Madrid are a testament to his prowess. He was instrumental in leading the club to not one, not two, but four Champions League titles, etching the name Cristiano Ronaldo in the annals of the club's rich history. The Portuguese maestro was the linchpin of a Madrid side that was feared across Europe. A side that was synonymous with success, a side that was built around his sheer brilliance. But Ronaldo's time at Madrid was not just about team success, he also achieved personal milestones that set him apart from the rest. He became the club's all-time top scorer, an achievement that speaks volumes about his consistency, his ability to deliver under pressure, and his knack for finding the back of the net. His nine-year stint at Madrid was a period of sustained excellence, a period where he reached the zenith of his powers, a period where he established himself as one of the greatest to ever grace the beautiful game. Every goal he scored, every trophy he lifted, every record he broke, added a new chapter to his illustrious Madrid story, but all good things must come to an end, and so it was with Ronaldo's time at Madrid. After nine glorious years at Madrid, Ronaldo decided it was time for a new challenge. But his legacy at Madrid remains etched in gold a testament to his greatness, a tribute to his magnificence. Ronaldo's thirst for new challenges took him to Juventus and later Manchester United again. In the summer of 2018, Ronaldo embarked on a new journey, swapping the royal white of Madrid for the iconic black and white stripes of Juventus. At Juve his insatiable appetite for success remained as strong as ever. He continued to break records and his impact was immediately felt. In his debut season he helped Juventus secure the Serie A title, a testament to his enduring excellence. But the allure of familiar grounds was too strong to resist. In the summer of 2021, Ronaldo made a sensational return to Manchester United, the club where he had transformed from a promising youngster into a global superstar. His return was met with jubilation from fans worldwide, a testament to his enduring appeal. On the field, he continued to defy age and expectations, proving that age is just a number when it comes to talent and determination. Ronaldo's impact, however, extends beyond the football pitch. Throughout his career, he has used his platform to make a difference. He is known for his philanthropic efforts, from donating millions to children's hospitals to funding cancer research. His generosity is as legendary as his football skills, and it's a part of his legacy that often goes unnoticed. And what a legacy it has been. Ronaldo has redefined the sport with his athleticism, skill, and sheer will to win. His journey from a small island in Portugal to the grand stages of Europe is a story of hard work, perseverance, and an unwavering belief in one's dreams. It's a story that has inspired millions around the world, showing that with talent, determination, and a little bit of luck, anything is possible. From a small island in Portugal to the grand stages of Europe, Cristiano Ronaldo's journey is a testament to hard work, perseverance, and an unwavering belief in one's dreams.